But listen, welcome to On the Road with Doc Pritchett. This is the debut episode. Um, it will be a monthly series. On the Road with Doc Pritchett will be airing the second Sunday of every month from 7 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. live here on Channel 28. So all of the wonderful academic stories and stories about young people doing wonderful things that you're used to seeing on In the Upper Room for 10 minutes, you will now see for one hour, one month, which will give us a lot more time to talk about a lot more wonderful things that the Pritchetts are doing. So yes. we are so excited that they asked us to sit in for them this evening. Yes. Because they had... They had a family engagement. Mr. Pritch mm -hmm. is spending time with his grands. And of course, this program is all about family. That's a big element of what um, Doc Pritchett plans to do and plans to use his time for. So um, the man lives what he speaks. So we're going to do our best to hold it down for him tonight. But you will see his own flavor come next month. One of the things that's a demonstration of how much Doc Pritchett has done for our community is the studio full of people that we have this evening. Man. When I walked in and peeked in the room, I was like, what is going on? What oh, going goodness. On? Let me tell you, Sean, uh, the call went out uh, that this was the debut segment for On the Road with Doc Pritchett. And let me tell you, I came here to the studio and wave after wave <laughs> after wave of people came, including including our first guest. Yes. You know, that's going to be Mr. Norman Mr. Oliver. Norm this is just our opening. Okay. Um, we wanted to let the people know that you're in the house tonight. And what we're going to do quickly, we're going to go to a break. Okay. But before that, we're going to open up this program with a prayer. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's all join hands at home. Please join us and bow your hearts and minds. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to stand in for our friend, Mr. Maurice Pritchett. As this is the debut of his show, Lord, we know that you will do great things for the community and for our young people through this television outreach program, Father. We thank you for all of the guests that have come to join us this evening, Lord. We pray that you bless them in their comings and going. We thank you for our brother Norm Oliver, who took time out of his busy schedule to come here tonight and show his support. So Father, we ask that you anoint this program right now and forevermore, Lord, that it may bear good fruit and be an asset to our community. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So break and then come back? I say break and come back. Okay, continue to watch. You do not want to miss this hour. Hey, welcome <laughs> back, y'all. Look, somebody get Norm off me, man. He's been messing with me all oh during the day. Oh, my goodness. You too. <laughs> Is this what it was like when you were in the seventh grade? I don't know, because when he was in the seventh, I think I was in oh, uh, okay. elementary let's school. Just go. Let's just go. <laughs> let's not even start that again. Oh, that's cold. But I'm going to make you on my show, you know, because I'm going to come back, you know. Okay, okay, you got it, you got it. I know you're going to bust me up, yeah. too. Hey, can I, can I bring up one thing? Sure. Oh, We're talking off the air, um, and because this is Pritch's first show, yes. or, or the debut, I think it's um, important that I say this. Yeah, go um, ahead, bro. I think that the community um, should rally, um, and I want to thank Ms. Cornegay. Yes. Um, for getting over 200 um, signatures. Yes. And I had a show last week. My show was at 9 o'clock. And um, one of the principals or one of the workers, some of the workers who were working at Bancroft, said that they, they are amazed that they haven't named an auditorium, a gymnasium, or something in Mr. Marbury's Pritchett's name. Wow. I mean, this guy has been there for over 30 years as yes. a principal. I mean, he had presidents. Every, you know, pre George Bush yeah. went by his school. Right. I mean, anytime somebody ran for governor, mayor, yeah. a, a lieutenant, governor county executive right they came by mr. Pritchett's um, school and he's always been a fair guy and, right. and um, he raised so many of us yes um, and I think it's a tragedy that something's not named in his honor yeah. um, so every time I get an opportunity and yeah. I get a form like this I don't right. have a problem with saying that and, and, I, and I don't knock them naming something for someone else yeah right. because that's their prerogative mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have the board president on tonight on my show at 9 o'clock okay and I plan on asking him that because yeah. I think it's just a matter of a resolution right. when I was on City Council we passed a resolution unanimously to name something in Mr. Pritchard's honor mm -hmm. and I guess the board for some reason didn't take take it up but in the meantime they've taken up the naming for other folks sure you know so uh, seen it yeah well we we as a community, you know, I mean, and you guys have a forum, we, we have to 
somehow, sometimes not be afraid to talk about those issues. Or, or even if you can't, just have other folks, because sometimes some people can't say things that we others can't. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and I, and I just feel comfortable in what I've been able to achieve in our community. I, yeah. I can say things that other folks can't, right. but I haven't always been like that, you know, yep. because I've always, sometimes I've had a boss. Yeah. But, um, so I appreciate this form and um, just looking at, you know, hugging the kids and stuff like that. I mean, that's, right. that's really touching. You, you know, thank you, Norm. Um, and I'm just really glad that you are able to come here this evening because the things that you say are things that I agree with. And I join you mm -hmm. in speaking out to that point. Um, knowing Mr. Pritchett's history of service, knowing his commitment still to this day that he is going to make a difference. You know, he makes a difference in uh, doing things that organizations sometimes don't do. He'll do right out of his own mm -hmm. pocket. When it comes Absolutely. time to, to assist students who are in college, say like Adele State, Mr. Pritch has come out of his pocket, man, and bought books, helped pay tuition, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and so, in my mind, he earned it a long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, and, and one of the messages I see today, and it's very timely, is that if you want something done, you gotta fight for it. Mm -hmm. You gotta step to the plate. And you know, Mr. Pritchett, one of the things about him is he's very humble. Oh, absolutely. You know, he didn't ask anybody to do any of this stuff. No. You know, just, I'm not, not to interrupt you there, mm -hmm. Michael, but I was talking to somebody after last week's program, mm -hmm. and um, they were asking where Dr. Pritchett was, because he was supposed to be with us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'm sure he's fine. And you and I were both kind of like, is everything OK? But in, in having this conversation, I said, you know, it's so funny, because whenever he's on our program, he sits there and he says this. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm just so, <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. And you can have like a room full of people, rows full of students who are just, you know, thank you, Doc, thank you, thank you. He's like, I'm just happy to be here. Right. You know? Right. And he is so humble. And, and, and I want Norm to come back um, and weigh in, but I just want, that reminds me of an image that I've always had of Mr. Pritch because when he first became our principal down at Bancroft, man, he scared us. Scared. He scared <laughs> us to death. He's a, he's a, well over six feet, but to us he looked eight feet. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Right. made him look right. ten feet. You know what I mean? yeah. 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 And, and and we we quickly found out that he was a, a gentle giant. Absolutely. You know, and in this in this season of what some people observe as Black History Month, but Black History is every day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you speak about standing on the shoulders of people. I'm standing on his shoulders, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm grateful for it. Mm -hmm. And Mike, and, and so also, um, I know Mark Seals is in the hall, and, and he's another guy that's going to be coming here. Yeah. His father's another fo a person I think that we, a plaque, a monument, a statue should be in his honor. Um, yes. no, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of black leaders in my young period, and, mm -hmm. and I've, I've done a little study, mm -hmm. but I, I can't name one who, they've all accomplished a lot, and I don't want to... Yes. Minimize what right. everybody's accomplished, but Jim Seals was yes. the first black mayor. Yes, he, he was. was the first black executive director of People Settlement. Mm -hmm. He was the NAACP president. Right. He was the first black um, city councilman at large. He was a state rep. Um, right. You put in a tenured professor, a doctor. So you put all those kind of things in, you know. Right. And, and these are the kind of people we need to continue to uplift because we've had dentists and doctors and mm -hmm. interns, mm -hmm. and, and and you know if we can't understand that kind of history and appreciate it, we, we are perish ourselves. Right. And also, you, you were talking about, real quickly before I go, mm -hmm. um, the need for us alumni at Delaware State University to get more involved, not just verbally, but with our pockets. Yeah. And I had the distinct um, honor to talk to Jim Gilliam Sr. Wonderful. last week, and we're talking about getting a scholarship. I, 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 I have a scholarship fund right now established at Delaware State. Wow. So anybody who's majoring in social work, call me up, and I got money for you. Nobody's taking advantage That's of it. beautiful. Because I I graduated with social work, so right. I'm going to tell them how much I got because everybody right. be calling me. Right? <laughs> but I established a scholarship fund, but um, we're going to um, raise some money, and I'm meeting with the president of Delaware State tomorrow, so we're going to be doing some good things, Mike. That's you awesome. You have and more help. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'll be begging tonight. Don't worry about it. Right, because you know, Norm, I was, I was thinking about it, and um, uh, I, I asked you before the show if you was, uh, you know, I said, you're a, you're a Delaware um, State University alumni, and which I am not. Uh, but at the same time, I have an investment at Delaware State. I have a nephew there. I have oh, uh, 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 two nieces. 
and Turquoise Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, and, yeah. Oh, by the way, Turk's birthday is, uh, I think, uh, it was either last Wednesday or... It we used to give Turquoise some money. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you know, but all of us, you know, at some point in time, you're going to have some kind of history. If, you, if you're from Delaware, right. mo I mean, especially back in the day, because all of our, like my aunt, my uncle, my brothers, sisters, all of us went to Delaware State. Yeah. Because that's the only place we probably pretty much could go to, but yeah. it's What's all good. Yeah, and what got me about it is that... Um, it, it jumped out because I don't know how true it is, but the, in the article that I had read, it said that the giving level from alumni, excluding yourself because you already are doing it. Yeah, but, but you know what, like, I don't like, I don't, I don't like to separate myself going, because I'm, I'm a part of it. Okay. And we all still have to do more. Yeah. Do you think tears would be um, appropriate? That, you know, that, that's what we were talking about, me and Mr. Gilliam. Really? And we okay. were talking about that. Then the president, and they have a different vision, so I don't want to step over. So I'll find out tomorrow. Well, you got him on your show. Yeah, so. no. And, and plus, I have a better feel for it after tomorrow. After tomorrow. But I, okay. I, I appreciate you. So we'll make you an honorary hornet. Hey, man, do You got the colors. Hey, <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me on the show. Thanks for nice coming. And y'all do a good you. job. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You I'm do honored. too, likewise. I'm honored hanging with the big time. Hey, man, I'm JV. I finally made it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to invite you to stay tuned. Like I said, we have a studio full of people who are going to come on and share their thoughts and their feelings with Maurice Pritchett about Maurice Pritchett. We'll be right back.